Hi everybody, I'm Jen Gagne of Pixelscapes.com and tonight I'm going to show you the sped up painting process I did for making this Yeti, one of the monsters from Dungeons and Dragons. So here we go. So of course for the pose I had to use the classic um, famous Bigfoot photo as inspiration of it striding along. Had to figure out what I wanted to do with the horns. He definitely has to be shaggy and furry. There we go. Nice heavy eyebrows. Long arms. Just ripped abs because apparently that's obligatory for Dungeons and Dragons monsters. Um, and then working out those claws. And there we go. Okay, uh, so now the painting. Here's the painting. This will take about four minutes. So I've got it all sped up for you. So uh, first I moved the position of the hand because I didn't like the claws being right up against the ring. Um, that kind of uh, tangent is not great in cartooning, at least in my opinion. Uh, I also adjusted the horns a little. Then I selected my body area, I started it with the cyan, then laid in the white, just as highlights. They are white creatures, but, but I've got to do something other than just straight white. Uh, and then I added a little darker blue around the, the edges just to make the contour pop a little more. So... Then, of course, I made the eyes and teeth white and added the blue to the eyes. And then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do though with the horns, but that'll do for now. I, I, I think I end up changing it again later. Uh, fur texture. So this is actually a public domain photo of a wet polar bear. Seemed appropriate for a yeti. It's their uh, arctic animals. Or monsters. In this case, polar bears as close as you're going to get. So brought that in, and I uh, laid it into each of these sections, just so the grain of the fur would be correct. And lastly, that leg and the face. Excellent. And then I used that to just sort of adjust the texture of the fur, just enough so you can see that it's shaggy as opposed to just smooth. Right. And now I get to pick my um, my ring line color. Um, I decided to make that basically the counterpoint to the horns. Um, so that there's sort of the callback between the horns and the color at the bottom. I didn't want to go too warm though, since this is about snow. So and a drop shadow, which is painfully old school, but but I do like how it helps him pop with just like a bluish drop shadow. And then cleaning that up since his legs should not be shadowing the edge. Uh, now it's time to do my line color. So I put blue on his fur. I don't want to completely blend him into the background, but just just a certain degree. And then I ended up actually blurring it and moving it so it'll give it almost like a contoured line. Oop! Contoured line look. And then I just kept adjusting because I'm fussy like that. Uh, and then I added color to the um, ring in the back. And changing his horns yet again, so that they've got that purple edge, which is offset. There we go. And then, yeah. Yep. 
so that's what I mean about the lines having like a little bit of contour to them. And there's that fur pattern, which I don't need for him, but I did end up using it for the edge just so that it wouldn't be totally flat. All right, and there we go. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, for more of my art, you can drop by pixelscapes.com. Uh, I do most of my role-playing game chatter on Twitter, so you can see me on Twitter at, at Pixelscapes. Uh, thank you so much, and see you next time.